Hi folks, I'm Andy from Mantic Games and this is Matt and we're here today to show you how to play a game of Epic Warpath. If you're thinking about backing this at Kickstarter, you want to know how to play this game, so we're here to show you. So Matt, as the designer, I'm sure you understand every single rule, like it's just embedded in your head, yeah. but I'm going to basically play the part of I've never played before uh, and ask you all those stupid questions. Um, so over to you, where do we start and what have we got? Okay, so I've uh, we've, we've skipped over a couple of steps. Mm -hmm. So I've set the battlefield up for us. So we're going to play uh, a smallish game today. On a, this is a four by four table. Um, this is the, the smallest sort of size you'd want to play. Typically, most of all our play testing has been occasionally on this, but usually on a, a six by four standard yeah. standard size uh, with, with slightly uh, slightly bigger armies. So what we've done is set up. We've got uh, your enforcers over there. Again, yes. old, uh, the, the bastions of the, the GCPS. <laughs> uh, I'm the nasty plague, the, uh, the virus that's spreading around the universe. Um, so they're roughly equal on points, um, but enough mix of uh, units so we can see what, what everything does. Perfect. Um, we're going to play a few, uh, few rounds today. What we're going to do, we're going to play with a static objective in the middle here. So that's always available to score points from yep. um, and we'll put uh, some dynamic objectives on, on, on each of these points. Uh, there are these tokens here, um, so in the end phase of every round they'll flip, so sometimes they'll be active, sometimes they'll be inactive depending on depending on how they how they start and then what t what turn number we're in. Yep. So if we want to do that to start with, if you place the one in there, if you want to kind of, just yeah. flip that one just like a just like a, a coin toss. So we just, that's it. Yep. Uh, so that's going to so that start green, on. so that's going to start on. So if you put that so one in there, one in the forest and I'll there. do this one up on the top of the hill, and that's also going to start on. So, okay. so they're going to both start active. So in the first round, they're all available to score. Okay. So in the um, in round two, only that one will score, because these ones will flip red. Perfect. So they go on a Ah, right, okay. Yeah. So it's a mad dash to the middle at that point. Yeah. yeah. Or to hang around if you know if you if you know that you know, next turn I can score for that one you might you might want to do that. Great. Um, so if we go through, uh, I'll talk you through a turn and then yeah. we'll, and then we'll just get started. Awesome. So there are a few phases in every round. Um, you start with the command phase where you're placing your action uh, your action tokens for each of your units. Um, you're rolling your pool of command dice which you use for orders which we'll talk about uh, in a second. Um, then you roll for initiative reveal what you're doing and then you get started. Um, then there's three phases of gameplay. So you've got the uh, movement phase yep. uh, and overwatch, which is where you get to fire first before anything else or react to charges. Yep. Uh, then there's the general combat phase where if you um, went on an advance action, you could either um, still shoot or if you've gone into combat, then you could trigger a, a combat at that point. Um, and then when all of that's done, you go into the end phase, you do your scoring, you, you check whether you're still pinned, that sort yeah. of thing. Clear away any status markers. At that point, the table should be clear of tokens, and then you can start start again. Unless you want, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, first thing we do is we roll for uh, command. Okay. So, everyone always starts with... Uh, these three black command dice. Now these have got uh, these. These are the kind of the lowest grade of command dice. Yep. Uh, they've got some blanks on them. One, and they've got one that's worth two. So we all start with two of those, and then based on the number of commanders, each commander will add to that pool yep. different grades of dice. Now my, I've got one commander on my side. He's a um, kind of a three A ghoul general. Yep. He only adds one more black die for okay. me. Okay. And I've got a, a lieutenant on my side, yep. and he adds one orange yep. dice. And that's the next grade of dice up. Okay. Uh, so we both roll to see what we get. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I got one blank there. Now, for every command you've got, you can re-roll one of your dice. So okay. we can both re-roll if you want. You might not want to. It's entirely up to you. I think I'm going to take a chance You're with the orange one. That one. Yeah. Okay. I, as you get, it got don't, one. Don't roll so, a blank. <laughs> yeah. Don't roll a blank. I'll try. No, oh, yeah, I got the same. So I'm going to roll that blank and try and get a one. So I've got I've got four command points for this turn. And I've got five. Okay. So put those to okay. one side. Um, and as you spend those, you just you just turn it down or, yeah. or, or move on. Move them away. So the things you can spend those on, um, there are two what we call tactical orders. They're available to everyone. So on both sides can use those. Yeah. Uh, you can spend uh, one of those to do a second activation. So this is an alternating activation go. So normally I'd have a go, you'd have a go, yes. etc. Et but I can spend one of those and say, no, I'm having a second go before I hand back to you. Yeah. Uh, the other thing you can do is buy a re-roll of up to two dice. Okay. When, But that's only when you're uh, rolling to hit, either shooting or combat, 
Or if you're when you're rolling to damage, okay. you can't you can't use it for anything else, you know, for initiative or uh, anything like that. And just on that, is there a limit to how many you can use each turn? Could could, could you just could, could I could I activate another unit and then spend another one and activate another unit? No, so there are some limitations. So you can only buy, for instance, uh, one re-roll for one dot roll of uh, yep. dice that you're doing. You can only activate do a second activation once, once before you then have to hand back to your, to your opponent. Perfect. The other thing you can do, and this is where the flavour of the armies comes in, other than the profiles and things like that. Every army has uh, three strategic orders, and they're unique to that faction. Okay. Um, so people who have played uh, Firefight, which is our uh, twenty-eight mil uh, scale scale game, will be will be will be used to this. Um, so you've got these strategic orders here. Uh, you've got uh, if, there's usually one more expensive one, which is yep. worth two command points to activate, um, and there'll be two on there that are, that are one each. Um, the, the, those ones, whereas the tactical orders are anywhere on the battlefield. Those strategic ones have to be in the command radius of one of your command units. Okay. Yeah. You know, so if you want to uh, put, so for instance, if I wanted to put infection on one of my uh, one of my units, it'd have to be in range of my commander here. Okay. And my commander's got range of twelve inches. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, enforcers have got a bigger command radius. I believe you're sixteen. Yeah. Um, and you can only do you can only spend once per activation of a unit. They can only have one order spent on them, so you can't keep spamming orders onto onto units. Yeah. Um, oh, I can see it though, yeah. Command radius sixteen inches is in the keywords for the for my lieutenant there. Yeah, perfect. Um, so uh, so we've rolled for that. Uh, the next thing we do is we place our action token. So we yep. got there's three types of action token. Okay. So um, we've got these blue ones, which are uh, sprint. Yep. Now, if you have a look at the prof uh, one of your profiles, you've yes. got under your speed, which is your SP, on any of those, yeah. uh, you've got two values. I have, yeah. So, so for uh, example, my operatives have a speed of 4 slash 8. Yes, so that means um, if they're moving on an advance, which is the uh, the green one there, they can go up to 4, which is that first value. Yep. Um, when they're sprinting, they can go up to that second value, and those values are all in inches. So yes. Is in in inches rather than, than centimetres or anything else. Um, so that that's basically you you can't uh, shoot if you've got uh, a sprint order. Yep. But you can go into combat. You can engage the enemy uh, with a sprint. Perfect. So with uh, an advanced uh, action token, you can move up to that first value. Um, you can't engage the enemy uh, in, in close assault with one of those, but you can then shoot later. Okay. Uh, or you can go on to Overwatch. Now, Overwatch goes before any other shooting. Um, so in, a, in something like like my artillery, for example, yeah. if they want to fire in directly, which they can do, they have to be on Overwatch to do that. Okay. Um, and then they'll fire before anyone uh, anyone else. The other thing that is useful for is if you think you're going to get charged, you can put yourself on Overwatch, and then as soon as that uh, as soon as a unit charges you, you, you automatically spend that, and you can fire before any combat's resolved or anything like that. Excellent. Okay. Now, one thing to, to note about these tokens, you will be putting tokens down at the start, yep. um, and you'll be spending them to do actions and things like that. You will swap some of these for, for combat tokens, that you then spend in the combat phase. Yeah. Uh, they're all different shapes, so each shape uh, is for a different phase, so you know what, what phase you're in. Excellent. But because you're spending them and clearing them, by the end of the round, your table should be clear, yep. um, ready to start again. Perfect. Sounds nice and clear. Okay, so I'm going to put these down. So you put these down uh, face down so your opponent doesn't know what, what, what you're doing and yep. then you reveal them later. Okay. So you want to grab a handful and choose choose it. where you want to go. Now sometimes, so your commander uh, always gets both uh, a sprint and an overwatch. So you can put those down, those down face up because they always, command units always can, can do both. Okay. They always have both. All right. Now I'm the uh, as the the plague and a kind of horde combat army. You can probably guess a lot of what my uh, yes uh, my tokens are going to be. Okay, so I've uh, I've laid out my tokens. Lord knows if I've done the right thing or not, but we, we will find out. So. Okay. <clears throat> so next thing we do is roll for initiative. So you both roll okay. the dice. Okay. Um, highest wins. Okay. So I've got a seven. You've got, got a seven. Seven now. In a in a future turn, if uh, if you do roll a, a tie like that, the person who didn't have the initiative last turn wins it. Ah, okay, great. But so this first turn, we're both going to roll. So two for me, so start, five for you. So I'll start the initiative token. Okay. And what that means <clears throat> is that in every every turn here, movement phase, Overwatch, combat, etc., I get to choose whether to go first or second. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, so we reveal our we reveal our orders. Okay. No surprise, I've got lots of sprinting. Yeah. I was a bit nervous about you sprinting across, so I've just gone for a, quite a few advances. Okay. Um, that does mean you can still shoot if you're in range, of course. Yeah, and that's kind of where I thought. I'm, I'm assuming I've got a bit more range stuff. I have got... Um, I've got uh, this unit here, who I want to yeah. get across quite quickly, I think, towards the centre. Yeah. I've got a unit here as well, I've got quickly. Everything else I've got a bit more conservative with. Okay, uh, yeah, lots of sprinting, and of yes. course I've got uh, my guys here on Overwatch, because yes. they're going to want to fire. Um, no, I could fire direct, but that allows them to fire indirect if they want to. Yeah. So, as I say, I've got the uh, initiative, so I can choose whether to go first or second. I will do, so you can see... See what we're doing. Yeah. So I'll go with. Uh, let's move my striders to start with. So okay. if we look up my striders, uh, they've got speed four eight because I'm uh, because I've got sprint. I can do that second value. So they're going to move eight. <clears throat> Just literally move each of them up to its distance, um, and the unit as a whole has to keep coherency, which means every base in the unit needs to stay within one inch of another another base and within six inches of all of them in, in total. Yeah. Now. Because <clears throat> I've sprinted, I can't shoot or do anything because I haven't got into combat. So yep. at this point, I clear that away, um, and I don't need to replace it with anything because they're not going to be able to do anything else uh, for the and, rest of. And rest the fact of they turn. haven't got a token reminds you that they've already gone. Well, they've already done stuff. Yeah. Yep. So, okay. So then I hand back over to you. Right. And you'll go. In that case, I think what we'll do is well, I think we'll start <clears> here with uh, with my jet bikes here at the, in this top corner here. And my jet bikes have a movement. Unsurprisingly, they're quite quick of uh, 12 slash 18. I've just gone for move because I wanted to be able to maybe shoot with them as well. Okay. So we're going to go 12 forward. So we will move them up. And what range do you need to be in for the, uh, to kind of grab an objective? Three inches. Three inches, yeah. okay. And it's, uh, as, as long as at least one base of the unit is within the three inches of the objective, you can, yeah. you can claim it. These guys, uh, and actually some of your enforcers as well, are yeah. all anti-grav as well, so okay. they can ignore some terrain up, up to a particular height yeah. when they're moving, so they can jump over units and things like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, so they're quite, quite manoeuvrable. Right, so <clears throat> you yep. now move. Rather yes. than clear that, you clear that away, yep. but you now give them one of these triangular combat tokens, okay. which you can then spend in the combat phase to shoot still. Okay, perfect. Okay. Right, back right. to yourself. Back to me. Okay, well, <clears throat> my, uh, my zombie's here. Now this um, this is these are woods. Now woods are open terrain still to uh, infantry, so yep. it's not going to not going to affect me moving through there. If it was difficult terrain, like it is for uh, bikes or something like that, then even if you're sprinting, you can only move up to the, that first number. Okay. So it kind of it, it hinders you, but these guys aren't affected by that. Uh, zombies have four eights, so I'm going to move eight. And I'm just going to just going to move three. Um, not too worried about being shot at the moment, so I'm yep. not going to trying to hug the trees or anything like that. And then we'll move up. There we go. Again, they're not in combat or anything like that. Yeah. So I will just clear that token away. Okay. So that's those guys moved. Right. I think what I'm going to do is then, I think I'm going to move. Um, we've got these uh, tanks here. And their movement, he says, look at his sheet. Is they've got a movement of 8 to 12. And we're just going to advance. So... Uh, eight inches for these guys, and I'm just going to move because they've got nice little weapons on the top. I want them to get a bit of line of sight. So again, as we said before, we take away that token and we replace it with a yep combat token. These guys, perfect. Okay, <clears throat> so my mules are going to move over on this side now. So mules are a little bit quicker than the than the rest. They're ten fifteen, and they got guys inside. So. At the, uh, any point in my movement, or once the vehicles have... So I could get out now. Yeah. Obviously, there's no point. Once they've moved, I can get out as a free action. Okay. Um, the guys inside automatically have the same action token as the as the, the kind of the, the whole unit was given, if you like. Okay. Um, but they are separate units. But if, if I was gave these advance, the guys inside would automatically have advance too. Right. So these are going to go 15. Up to here. Nice and nifty there. Yep, and then my guys are automatically going to get out. Yep. Uh, and these guys here, and they're going to they're going to move now. <clears throat> Getting out um, like this, uh, they they can move, but it counts as being in difficult terrain, so they right. can only move there that first number. Okay. So you can't 
uh, sprint with your vehicles, get out and then and sprint, then sprint, sprint again. again. Yeah, yeah, you can do. I, I could go into combat, but I'll always count as being hindered because it's difficult because it's difficult terrain. Okay, must count as hindered. But I'm going to get out and I'm going to park myself over this objective. Yeah. Um, and once again, because I'm not going to be able to shoot and anything else because I sprinted, I'll just clear that away. And there's no token down there. So Lovely. You'll be able to shoot them. They won't be able to shoot you. So next up then, I've got my peacekeepers here, uh, and I've given these a sprint order. Okay. So I am going to uh, sprint them across the board, and they've got a 4-8 range, so they can go 8 inches. Yep. So we'll try and uh, cover a little bit of ground here, and get them across nice and quick. And uh, see if they can uh, get into combat. And... That's it, that's those guys done. Uh, because they sprinted, that's all they can do. So that's uh, that's the end of that. So my bursters here are gonna are gonna move forwards. So my bursters are kind of lumbering. <laughs> Once they get there, they're nasty. But they're they're going there for eight. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna go they're gonna go straight forward because then that takes them out of it certainly gives them some cover from your from your tanks over there. Eight and eight. There we go. We'll just clear that token away. Back to you. Okay. Okay. So I've got my my unit of operators here. I gave them a sprint order as well. So I think we'll uh, we'll get them straight across the board. And again, they have a, a movement of a speed of uh, four eight. So eight inches for the sprint. And we will just uh, charge them up here and uh, push them across the across the field. And again, as we said before, Totem comes away, they can't do anything else. Yep. So that's those guys. Now I've got, these are going to be able to 10, 15 again, so I've got a decent, decent range. You can pre-measure, so yep. you know my guys would get well, that far, and then I could probably get out and, and go for that objective too, yep. which I probably will do at this point. You've obviously also got your, yeah, your my... guys there that can get, I don't think you can, I'm going to risk it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who needs to pre-measure? <laughs> So my, my mules are going to go uh, up and over this. Now this is, uh, hills are open terrain, so I can just go up and over that. Obviously it would block line of sight that way. Yeah. I could just go up and up and over. So I'm going to get to the edge of the, the edge of the wood there. Uh, and then I'm going to do that free activation and get out. You see, I can only, it's, it's difficult terrain anyway. Yeah. But, uh, so these are my, uh, but actually you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm probably, Within three inches, so I'm going to get yeah. out behind. Ooh. So okay. next turn, yeah. I will be on a hill with some nice heavy machine guns <laughs> um, with a kind of decent. That fire. sounds quite brutal. I'll be honest. So now, hill, hills are height three. These guys are height two. So my height currently for these guys is five. Yeah. Woods are four, so I can see over that. So at the minute, I can see see over uh, see nice, o over that nice, nice little view of the battlefield. But, uh, but that'll be next turn. <laughs> okay, right. So we'll worry about that when when we get to it, eh? Yeah. Um, right. I think what I'm going to do then is I'm going to move my APCs out. So okay. they've got a. He says, looking at these stats here, the APC has a twelve. So we will move them eight across the battlefield. I think this is going to be uh, roughly where the action is going to happen over here. So we're going to move these up, and because they moved, um, they can they can the guys can they jump can up. get out if they want to. Yeah. The free activation. You, you don't have to use the free activation. Yeah. You could activate later if you if you wanted to, or, yeah. or they can just stay inside and not activate at all. So. Yeah, I think we're going to sit inside for now. We're a little bit too far away. I want to get them across maybe next yeah. turn. Okay. But we'll yeah. just we'll put that on there Let's just to, shoot. to show they that they're going to later. shoot. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to move my commander up. Um, you probably a, a four ten, I believe, because they're quite quite nifty guys. Um, he's going to move, park himself. Now, I want to make sure I'm in command radius of these guys next time, which I can do from there. So yeah. he's going to park himself safely in the woods. Yep. Uh, using his sprint token, now he keeps his Overwatch because they can always do always do both. Yep. One thing to note with commanders is that they can't be uh, shot at unless they're the closest viable target. Okay. Um, which means that, you know, putting them out in the open, 
is uh, is okay uh, as, as, as long as they're, as not, they're, not, as they're not the closest thing at it. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so I've got my um, I've got my heavy weapons to to move, and I've also got my lieutenant as well. And I think I'm going to move my lieutenant here. So he's going to move of four eight. Again, we don't want to put him uh, kind of hanging out in the wind so much. So I am just going to um, I'm just going to move him up to the back of this unit here. Um, and oh, he keeps his overwatch. Oh, yes, he sprints, yeah, okay. and he gets his uh, his shoot token as well there. Yeah, at this point, you might as well put a shoot token on him because, of course, yeah. he's, he's not going to. Uh, his his range isn't big enough for his Overwatch, yeah. so he might as well. Because you can always defer Overwatch to uh, if you don't want to use it. Okay. Uh, so I've got one uh, one thing left to go, which is these guys. And these guys are six twelve, so they're they're pretty speedy. Um, I'm going to take those. Now your your guns aren't aren't that long. I don't think so. I no. think I can probably. I think what are you range twelve. Range twelve, yes. Yeah. So as long as I don't go that far, which I don't think I can get to, <laughs> I think I'm going to run this way with these guys. There we go. Uh, Reapers, they are. They are speedy, and they're they nasty. Are. And nasty in combat. <laughs> uh, but no more tokens for them. So. Uh, okay. I'm done on this side, so I'll be right. just my overwatch guys. Just my heavy weapons to go. Heavy weapons, yeah. uh, movement of 4-8. I've given them a, an advance order. Um, so these guys are going to move 8 forward. And they, they also have a, um, they have a range of 24 inches, which is why I wanted to just move them rather than sprint them forward with the idea that they might actually be able to, to see something to shoot at. Leaving the protection of the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, which, now you say that, it doesn't sound the wisest of choices, but we're, we're out now. We're out. Yeah. Um, so there's. Sure so just a note, note on buildings. When uh, uh, so infantry, heavy infantry, and even walkers are yeah. allowed to go in buildings, you can imagine them smashing their way up the stairwells and, yeah. and things like that. When a unit's inside a, or occupying a building, um, every building has a capacity, yep. a bit like a, a transport vehicle. I'm usually say for every for every kind of um, uh, two two inches square, it's yep. a capacity three, so it's three bases. Yep. So um, a building this sort of size, you could put six in capacity six. Yep. Uh, just just one unit can occupy a building. No, um, once they're in there, they're quite tough. They're quite hard to get out, so they'll always count in cover for shooting. They'll always get plus one armor okay. because they're in there. Assaulting a building, um, you're always hindered. Uh, so they're quite tough, and, um, and if the, if an objective like this one is on there and is contested because lots of lots of people are, are next to it, the unit occupying it doubles its unit strength, which is always the tiebreaker. Who's got the highest unit strength right. when you're claiming objectives? So okay. once you're in there, then you, you're tougher, to, you're harder to get out. You also have the height of the building for, for shooting as well. Of course, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so you're all done. That's it, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm all done too. Um, so now we move on to uh, Overwatch. Okay. So, because I have the initiative this turn, I choose whether or not I want to go first or second. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm definitely going to go first. So I'm going to go first with these guys. Yep. So, these guys fire a blast. So I'm going to use these blast templates here. Um, there's three of them, so I'll get to place three templates. Yep. One for each. Uh, if I fire direct, I can just place the template as long as it's within line of sight. Um, and then all three of them concentrate their fire in the, in the same place, okay. and I get extras to hit. Uh, if I'm firing in direct, then it will um, it will scatter, and then the other templates will um, go around it. Okay. Um, and then it's 50-50 uh, whether I hit the bases that are, that are underneath or not. Yeah. And what determines direct and indirect? Is it just line of sight, is it? Um, yes, if you're out of their line of sight, yes. but something else can see, then then yeah. you're uh, then it's indirect. So if, yeah, yes. but I can I can target pretty much anything in range. Yes, so I have a minimum range of eight. That's not a problem in this in this case. Yep. and a maximum range. These guys have got forty eight. Wow. So on a big six by four table, and I put them over here, I wouldn't be able to hit yeah. hit, hit that end. But on this on this four by four, it's probably only the corners <laughs> that, I, that I can't reach. Now I'm probably most worried about. Either the missile launchers or the... I mean, there's a lot of firepower in there because there, there's these guys as well. Yeah. So I think I can... I'm going to try and put my template down here. So okay. it's definitely a range, but we'll check just for sanity's sake. Uh, yep, 35. So I will put that down. Uh, let's try and cover those four. <laughs> now, this is the scatter dice. So okay. it's a D8 just like these, but it's a custom one. Okay. So there's two, two hits on here, um, and then there's directions. 
uh, marked on here, and that's the 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 number is how many inches it will scatter it if oh, it goes okay. in that yep. direction. So that one there will roll, and it goes five, <laughs> five inches that way. Of course it does. <laughs> uh, so that is going to end up there, and Ooh. then we see where the other two land. Yeah, um, and that's based on this. If I roll a hit, I can place it anywhere I want around yep. it. Otherwise, the arrow tells me where it's going to go. So there's a hit. So I will definitely place that one over those two. Yep. Uh, this one has to touch this one again. Okay. Uh, and that is five, so that's going to go that way and yep. miss. So two potential hits there. So what, you've, what I've done there is determine the area of effect. Yes. Now I have to roll to see if I hit. So I hit them on a, on a five plus. It's always okay. a five plus for indirect yep. fire. So we'll roll, roll that. And of course, none. <laughs> now, here we go. I'm going to spend one of my command points and re-roll up to two dice. Yes. So I'm going to re-roll those two. That was two a, hits. a very okay. wise move. Yeah. So, two hits. So two I, hits. Now I roll against your armour. So my armour for this is 7+. plus. Okay, I have no AP on these. They're, they're really they're kind of uh, for, for anti-infantry and stuff like that. I just yep. happen to be in tanks. 7+. plus. That's okay. right. One. Now, okay. again, I'm not going to be spending these command points on anything else, I think, yeah. this turn. So I'm going to re-roll up to two dice. I don't want to re-roll that one, no. so I'm going to go with this one. No. no. So, one hit. Now, if, do you have any kind of save on those? Um, so, on my tanks here, I've got a save of six plus. Okay, so there you go. So, you can, you can so I, re -roll, I roll this myself and yep. try and get a six plus, and I got a and five. Nine. Okay, so none. So, one of those is destroyed. Okay. One of the ones that was, uh, we'll, uh, was hit. So we'll that lose one. this one. Now, you have taken damage, but even if you hadn't, because I've hit you, you take a pin, uh, pin mark. Okay. So what that means is you're now on minus one for uh, to hitting, yep. whether that's shooting or, or combat. While you while you've got that pin marker, you can try and clear that in the end phase. If you don't clear it and you start the round with it, you have to have a, an advance token. You can't be given sprint. You can't, you can't sprint. be given. You can't be given Overwatch. Okay. Right. Okay. So good job with these guys. Uh, yeah. That was nice. That wasn't, wasn't too bad at all, was it? No. Totally missed my target, but <laughs> there we go. So, right, let's have a little look at the... Um, from a. So this is the Overwatch phase. Is yeah. it only units oh, with Overwatch tokens? Because I, so, I don't have any. No, so, so what you did, you did it early, but he would have yes. at this point said, well, I'm deferring. Yes. So I'm going to, and my guy's going to do the same. Yeah. He'll defer, although he's not going to have anything to, to shoot with it, given his range. Yes. But, uh, there we go. So that was okay. Overwatch. So okay. there, there was no charge reactions or anything like that. So... Onto the combat phase. Same as before, I've got the initiative token, so I can choose whether to go first or second. Now, this, this is where it gets interesting because you can obviously then determine the order that you spe you're spending these tokens. So yeah. it might be that you, you say, well, I want to trigger this combat over here. Yeah. Combats, everyone fights at the same time, and then you're resolved. And then, of course, they, they, they might be then valid targets because normally you can't shoot into combat. Okay. But it might be that you say, well, I want to resolve that combat first because then I can see what's left. And then I can trigger something else to shoot them. Yeah. Or you want to might well, do your shooting first. You might want to shoot first and then say, right, I'm spending one of these to auto activate again because I want to concentrate my fire. Et Makes et sense. Now I've uh, I'm I'll, I'll go first and spend him, and he can't do anything. So really, <laughs> it's all yours because I've got no other combat tokens because I most of my army ran. Yeah. So it's all you to. Uh, Right. In that case, these then... Poor, these poor goals here. Yeah, my heavy weapons guys feel like they need to kind of uh, earn their keep now a little bit. So, they have... They've got a range of 24. So, let's see where they can uh, where they can hit. So, with the, the, yeah. that's height 3. Well, that'll be up to height 6. So, these, these are height 2. These yeah. are height 3. Okay. So, you know, that is going to block block line of sight. So yeah. you, you can't see any of these guys. Can't you see can those. obviously definitely see them. Yeah. Uh, you can't see the mules... Yeah. Um, but they're up on there. I think they, they might be the they're the target. I think they're the okay. place to shoot. Okay, so they're well within range. So if you have a look um, at the on their weapon profile, they'll, yes. they'll have an A dice, which is your attack dice. So it tells you that'll be your number. Uh, yes, that's um, it's two for the missile launchers. Two. So that's two per base. So yeah. six bases in there. So you're rolling twelve dice. Okay, and it also says that they have um, AP one and vicious for shooting. So what does that yeah. mean? So AP, so that's your armor penetration. So AP one will uh, basically reduce my armor by one. Um, okay. Or in effect, add, add plus one to your dice roll. Vicious means you can re-roll any ones that you roll when you're rolling to damage. Excellent. So and that's on top of any re-rolls that you buy um, with your command dice. Okay. You can do. So twelve dice. Um, my shoot stat is five plus. Yep. So let's see what we get here. 
So there's a one to reroll. I get rid of this. That's, that's on, uh, so the vicious yeah. is when you're rolling to damage. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. So you'd need yeah. marksman to do it on when you're rolling to, to hit. So I'll just move the ones that I've missed here. First of all, mm -hmm. so those ones are my hits, Maybe we'll hit and, and that one's a miss. Now, if you wanted to, you could buy it. Th yeah, I think I think now is a good time to do that. Okay, so, so you can re-roll up we'll, two of those. We'll re-roll two of them. And then eight one, and a four, one so more. one hit. Okay, okay. so, so now you're rolling to damage. So if we look at my my ghouls, uh, armor five. So yep. you're so they're effectively armor four at that point because you've got AP one. So, so you need four more. Four ups. And is this where I get to re-roll the ones here? This is, is it? where you can re-roll your ones. Yeah. Right. So, so you pull those to one side. I'll, you can also re-roll those uh, that one as well if you wanted to with the command dice. I think we. I think we will. That's a good way to use it up. So yeah. I'll re-roll my two ones plus yeah. the command dice for that one. And two threes miss, so but I do get a five there. So five. So that's five bases. Five. Destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to. I'm going to take those five away because that means that you probably. Definitely going to be in cover <laughs> yep. than that one, but you definitely can't see them. Wise, wise, wise moves. Now I've lost uh, well over half my uh, my guys there, so I am automatically pinned. Okay, and I remove this now because they've uh, they've That's done their now. Yep. Okay. Well, what are you? Um, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. Right. So I think we. I'm not sure we've got a huge amount in range now, and those guys um, definitely uh, did a good job. We'll have a look at the. Um, so the bikes here, they, I don't think they can see anything. The hill's well, in the way here, is yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, two of them can see one mule. Okay. Uh, so I'd be in cover because yeah. the majority of mine are in cover from the majority of yours or can't be seen. Yeah. So I'd definitely get cover, which is minus one to hit. Okay. Uh, but two can see as long as they're in range. I think that's probably still the best thing to do then. So jet bikes, let's have a little look at these guys. Uh, the jet bikes have, um, they have Dominator rifles, which are A dice two. So two are shooting, so four, four dice. dice. Yep. And they um, shoot, the, the shoot stat is uh, a five plus as well. But is that minus one because you're in cover? Yep, so effectively so six, six plus. Yep. And one hit. One. I think now is a good time <laughs> to spend another point. And we'll re-roll those two. Oh, and they no. still missed. Okay. So okay. just the one hit then. Yeah. So have you got any armor penetration? I... No, no, I haven't. That's right. Okay. Yep. So armor six. So six plus again. So six plus. Let's see what we get. No. Two. Nothing. Okay. All good. Now you could spend so, another one and re-roll that. <laughs> uh, you know what? I might as well. Let's 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 uh, let's go all in. Seven. Yep. So, so it hits that one. Yep. That's it. So that was worth spending that point. Uh, and those guys have shot now. So. Um, so as you can see, they're, they're quite useful, especially with those tactical orders. Yeah. But when you when, once you're closer and you you know you're starting to use your your strategic orders, you've yeah. really got to make a decision as to yeah. what you spend those on. Yeah, it feels easy at the moment, but uh, I haven't even touched on those kind of like the yeah. the strategy of it. Um, okay, so I've got a few more units here like left to shoot. Uh, these guys, I don't think they'll be in range for those, will they? Let's have a little probably look. Tanks, they've probably got a decent um, decent range. Oh, they've got a range of twenty four. So let's have a little look and see if... But they are pinned. So they, they are within range. Yep. Um, and they have... Uh, let's have a little look. So they've got dice three. Uh, A3, sorry. So it's six dice for that. Yep. And they, their shoot stat is a five plus. So six is because you're pinned. That's it, six because I'm pinned. So we're looking for six plus. And we've got... Two. Now, are you marksmen at all? No, I don't think so. Not not on these ones. No, okay. No. So... so two hits so far. Yeah, so two hits. I think we might as well spend that last one as well. And roll two more dice. And I've got three another hits. one through there. So three hits at the moment. Any AP? And the tank has... It doesn't have... Oh, it did have marksmen, sorry. Yeah, it did have marksmen. But it doesn't have any AP. Okay, I think you rolled at least two ones, so re roll another couple. <laughs> oh, one one gone through. So four hits. There you go. Right. I'm armor seven. Armor seven, so I'm trying to get some sevens and eights here. Uh, go oh, two, two, two sevens. Wow. Okay. Wow. So we'll take two of those away and they'll be pinned. So that wasn't too bad, was no, it? That was quite nasty. Right. And that's, oh, the pin marker stays with them, doesn't it? Yeah. That's right. And, and then. 
I'm not sure if these are in range. This is my peacekeepers here. And let's have a little look at the stats for those. Peacekeepers have a range of 12. So I don't think anything is in range of those. Uh, no, so nothing to shoot there. Um, these guys have gone. And we've got these APCs. Um, oh, they've got a range of 18. But will that reach through to yeah. there? And only little not, guns. Nah, no, not quite. Just, no. just shy. Okay. So those guys are done as well. So that's everything for my, for my shooting phase. Okay, so at this point we're into the uh, end phase. Yep. So we'd uh, clear away any status tokens at this point, which, are, which there aren't any. We can now resolve our pinning to see if we can get rid of those. Okay. So your entire army has a single nerve value. So you roll basically one dice and you need to uh, to match or beat that value. So if you have a look at yours it's at the yeah, top of your army I list. I think it's five of, of memory. Uh, yeah, five plus. Fires. If you're within range of your commander, you can roll two dice and pick the uh, pick the highest. Okay. Which you are your commander so that, there. That's it. Within yeah. Commander radius. So roll two so dice. Two dice. At least one of the, as long as each one of them is a five. That's. Uh, yep. Oop, so you can five clear and a that. Two. That's okay. Now I'm uh, plague. Um, aren't great uh, with these now. I do have quite a few unflinching units. You know these guys can't can't yeah. receive pin markers. Um, but when I am pinned, it's uh, it's not great. Um, so I'm on a seven. Now I am within range, which is 12 inch range of, of my commander down here. Yep. That's fine. So I can roll two dice, but I do need sevens. Oof. Nope. So he stays pinned. And my strider. <laughs> cool, double ones, <laughs> of course. There you go. So they two, those stay pinned. Okay. So uh, they will only be able to receive advance. Okay. Five tokens. Right. At this point, we now do scoring. Yep. Um, so I am within three inches of that. I don't believe you are. No, nope, I'm nope. outside of it. And I'm within three inches of that. So I score three for both of those. Okay. So dig out my threes. There we go. And, and how, how would this work if I was in range as well? Do we contest it? Or? Then it would be contested. And then you add up the unit strengths of, right. of all the, the contesting uh, units on each side. Yeah. And the person with the highest unit strength then wins it. Okay. And what about pinned units? Is there any... Can they still contest? Is there any difference? They can. Uh, one of the things that came up on the, on the playtest day the other day was actually to, it was a good idea, is that pinned units uh, drop to unit strength one. Okay. Uh, which, which I think is a, is, is a good idea because a lot of things like vehicles and stuff tend to have low unit strength anyway, which means they're not affected then by pinning in that in that way. Perfect. Uh, but, you know, you pin an infantry which tend to have high unit strength and yeah. it, will, it will drop them right down. And I think that was a good idea. So yeah. thanks, playtesters. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we'll, we'll do that for now. But they're not contested, so, so I score for both. Okay. Now they flip. So next turn these won't be scoring. So and now he says uh, that's the still the scoring one for, so it's for just round this one two. scoring now. These two have just been switched yeah, yeah. off. And of course, what's interesting if they were different or if you had more of them. So some yeah. of our bigger objectives, you might even have five dynamic ones. They're all switching on and off. And it's yeah. like right. You have to plan ahead. <laughs> yeah. So right, I want to capture that non next next turn. Um, so that's it. That's at the uh, end of the round and time for round two. Next one. Okay. So on to round two, how do we start? Uh, so the first thing we do is we roll our command points again. Okay. So I roll mine, and uh, I think I'm going to stick with mine. Yeah, I'm sticking with mine. I'm not going to risk rolling some blanks there. Yeah, so I've, got, I've got five on mine. I'm, I'm four again. Um, okay. Right, so now we put down, so only obviously any mandatory ones. So um, yep. our commanders both get that. I've got two mandatory ones here. So they are pinned so they have to have advanced that's right tokens. that's right they're mandatory because of that reason aren't they yeah yeah uh, that is it for mandatory things um and then we place our, our okay normal ones. perfect right so we'll, we'll do that and come back right okay. so we, we've allocated our actions now what, what our, our plans are now yep. so back to initiative see who yeah. gets it this turn let's move back to the middle okay uh, and seven again it's seven. Seven. right <laughs> now it's a draw I had it last turn. Yeah, you get it this turn. Well, that's a that's a good way to explain how it works. And that yep. was that was a good one. So I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna go first here then. Yep. So reveal what we're doing. Um, uh, yeah. So charging. I've got an advance, an advance. Okay. I've got an Overwatch. I've got an advance on these guys. Advance here, and I'm gonna sprint these ones okay. across the uh, board. Obviously, they were they had to advance. I've got sprints everywhere else. These are surprisingly on Overwatch. <laughs> Bursters are going to sprint forwards a bit. These guys on the hill are on Overwatch. Mules sprinting, Leapers sprinting. Right. Uh, and you have initiative, so it's your choice whether to go first or second. 
movement phase. I think I think I'll go first, and what I'm going to do is I am going to move this unit forward with my APCs here. Yep. And let me just check their range, and the APC is eight eight twelve. So it's going to move forward eight inches, which is going to get me. Um, actually, I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna move them up to here, um, and then I'm gonna sort of uh, jump out, yep, so to speak. And these guys are just gonna. They're gonna jump out here to try and uh, score this point here. Now you have got. You've got move four eight, so you have got enough movement to get if you wanted to into that building to claim it. Oh, you can see, I can move into that building, yeah? Yeah, so as long as, as, okay. long as they've all got the range right. to get there, then you can occupy that. So what we do is just pop them on top just to represent yeah, that or do. something. Or yeah. there's, if there's, as long as the capacity is there, if there's not enough room because of how yeah. you've modelled it, you can just put them to one side. Okay. I'll put, I'll put them on there so we can see that they're, uh, they're in there. Yep. Okay. Okay, and that's... And then they can move to shoot yeah. action now. Now once they're in there, if I try to shoot them, as we said before, they're always in cover. Yeah. They've got an extra armour. Okay. Um, when they're shooting out, they can just do it from anywhere. You know, they measure the range from yeah. anywhere. And and I assume that the um, the APCs don't get the shoot action because all of the, the guys have moved out. No, nope, they, right? they all had advanced, uh, okay. so they can both, they can right. both now shoot. Okay, so they both get a, a token there, just so I can... Yep, just leave it on the side. So yeah. probably... There we go. Easy. That's it. Okay. Right. Over to yourself. Uh, yes. So I think. Now these guys have got four eight. I don't think I can reach the building with all of them. So I don't think I'm going to charge now. If I get too close, you'll shoot me with your pistols, of course. <laughs> um, now that's interesting. I could move up and shoot. He ignores cover because he's just got a flamer. Yeah. Uh, so I could I could toast them. Now my my actually my bursters do have some. Quite nasty weapons. AP2. Mm. They are tempting. <laughs> flamers as well. Uh, you're going to score for it. But then I do want to kick you out. So, okay. Well, I was considering hiding my uh, my strider, but I might I yeah. might not try and go here. So, oh, you, oh, these guys are on watch. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. You know what I'm going to do? Before these guys get to even move, my mules here are going to sprint. They've got 15, so yeah, not a problem. They're going to come around and they're going to okay. pin you here. And basically pin you so that you can't can't move. Now, if you'd have been on Overwatch, you could have now immediately spent that to shoot. Right, okay. You're not, so you're now you're you're effectively pinned there. Now, yeah. because I've contacted you, I will be on I will get a combat token, which okay. I can then spend. You okay. auto, you automatically lose that, but you also get a combat token. Okay. So either of us can trigger that combat. Right. Okay. Um, back to you. Right, right. I think what we're going to do then is we're going to we're going to get the heavy weapons team here. Yeah. And I think they're going to move up into this area to try and uh, give a bit of support, give it a few options. So uh, heavy weapons team four inch move in their advance. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit so they've got a bit more visibility. Uh, we'll move them across a little bit. And there we go with the, the shoot ready for next turn. Right, well, I am going to try and get these guys. Uh, <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> shall I charge? If I charge, I'm going to get... Uh, I'll be hindered straight away. Your assault troops. Well, let's show what... What could possibly go let's, wrong? Let's show what badly assaulting yeah. a, uh, a thing does. A, yeah. a, yes, I can get there just... We have to remember we're showcasing the rules here, but we're, we're, I can see we're both right. starting to get competitive now. <laughs> yeah. They charged in, so I'm going to be automatically hindered because I'm charging a, yep. a thing. You've already got a combat token, so that's fine. Right. So I've picked them. So it's still triangular uh, combat token, but it's a minus one just to remind me that, that I've got minus one to hit. Okay. So that's, that's them done. Right. Uh, in that case, we've got... Uh, I'm just wondering if, I'll have, if I've got anything for my... Um, for my lieutenant to do with these uh, abilities. Because mm, we've got something called high velocity ammo. So when a unit of operatives, jet bikes, or peacekeepers activates and shoots, which they will be able to do, 
Um, so I'll target the vehicle or walk a unit. Probably out of range for vehicles and walk a unit. Mm. Right, I think we'll, uh, we might hang on for those. I don't think we're quite at this moment in time. But let's uh, let's go with, with this unit here. We're going to move it forward. So this is my, my uh, peace, peacekeepers here. And they have a movement of 4-8. And they're going to advance. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll just bring them up here. And I think this is gonna this is gonna switch next time, so we'll try and move sideways a little bit. I think and try and uh, open up the battlefield a bit. Oop, that's the leader model. We'll leave that one where it is. There we go. And then he get the shoot action ready for the next turn. Okay, right. My zombies are gonna move kind of. Mm, Get there. So they're going to move in really good position for next turn, and anything that tries to, to get that, try and get as much cover as they can. They probably all can't all get behind. So what I'm going to do, they've got very bad armour. Yeah. The zombies they tend not to have much armour at all. What I am going to do is spend a command point here. Yep. And so this is when a non-vehicle unit activates, so I can do this, which is what they're doing. Okay. Uh, the unit has to save 6 plus until the end of the round. Place a status marker on the unit as a reminder. So okay. I'm going to go with green status marker because I'm plague. So, yep. um, so, so they're obviously within range of him. He's right next to them. Um, so they've now got saved with 6 plus to the end of the, the go. They're going to sprint. They're 8. And they're going to hide as much as they can. Um, but I think they can all get out of out of the way, so you would have been able, you would be able to shoot them, but yeah. at least the more I can get out of the way, the more <laughs> they are in cover, and they've got to save. But uh, these play models like to hide, don't they? they do. <laughs> okay. Get that status with them. Okay. And right, I think um, jet bikes can't go because they're now locked into combat. I think we've got the lieutenant here. And the lieutenant is going to, we've got him for a sprint, and he sprints eight inches, I think. I think what we'll do is we'll sprint him up to this building here, just to yeah, keep and Of course, it, with his longer command range yeah. of 16, parked in the middle, he's got quite, yeah. quite good coverage. And we leave the, uh, the overwatch on him, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so my, so my surviving ghoul unit here can only can only advance. It's actually going to come out and park itself here as a tempting target. So if you want to shoot it, you've got to waste a whole unit shooting it. <laughs> uh, it will get a it can fire back, but it is obviously... Yeah, it's pinned as well. Pin marker tied to its foot. Okay, and my last unit is my, uh, my, my operatives over here. And they are going to sprint eight inches. And I think they're going to get ready for a little bit of a, um, a bit of a rumble by the looks of things over here. So we'll move these up. Uh, because they sprint, that's them. Uh, they're finished. That's uh, everything on my side. You sure you don't want to move your uh, your, your tanks there? Just, I'm you know, pretty, <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. I've turned the engines off. Pop, pop them behind the building yeah. or something like that. Or... Uh, right, so he's going to keep up with these guys just so he's got some, some coverage. But I'm yep. also going to come come here. I won't get too close in case he suddenly becomes the closest uh, yeah, I would closest not, target. That did so cross my mind go, when I was moving mine as well. There. You're, you're done with your movement, are you? Yeah, that's me all done. So, okay. Yeah, I would have had the extra one extra, but the jet bike's got so locked in. Going. So... Choices, choices. So my leapers can definitely get there. My yep. mules can get there. I think my machine guns, I think there'll be a waste to shoot them because they're in a, if, if once I'm in combat, I can't shoot you anyway. Yeah. I think they've got some good coverage. They're range 18. So they can hit the peacekeepers. So mm. I think, and they can see them as well. So I think they're going to they do that. Now, you will get cover because yes. we're shooting over the, the audience. So, but yeah. I will we'll, we'll go for that. Now, these, I think those... Do they help the, leap the leapers? Don't need any help, do they? <laughs> I think those are going to go and pin those, stop them shooting. So nice. they're just going to move around like that, go one for one. And we both get, you've got a combat token anyway, and yep. I'll get one too. So we can both do that. 
And then, of course, my leapers are going in. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they, exactly? Now, I've, uh, if I was within range of my command unit, I'd have given them something like Thirst for Blood or Order or yeah. Terror or something like that, but uh, he's all the way over there. So, <laughs> and I don't have a nice long command radius like, no. uh, like you guys. Um, and that's why it's a good idea to have uh, multiple commanders. Yes, because spread, spread out, out across. Then, yeah. Just uh, right, they've got uh, 612, so I don't think they have any problem getting in. Uh, so they will all do as best they can, like so. Yeah. We'll put that uh, there. We both get. Um, okay. Um, and I think where are they in now? Now they are locked in combat. I yeah. can't shoot them. So um, I think I'm good now. He's only got short range flamer, so it's only nine. Um, he's only got a range of four, so he's not going to be able to shoot anything, I don't think. Four and nine, no. So I think he's going to be a coward and <laughs> hide out the way this time. Yeah, if he wants to come and sit in front of my heavy weapons here, I wouldn't be upset yeah, by he, that. He, but... does, he doesn't want to. No. I mean, it would be a nice. <laughs> it would be a nice target. Distraction. But, uh, <laughs> there we go. So he can he can shoot if he if if possible okay. next turn. Right. So that's it. So that's all our movement. Yeah. Um, so Overwatch. Excellent. And you've got an initiative, so you can choose and go first or second. Right, one so I've got one with, with oh, Overwatch. And your, and your commander. Oh, yes, I'm a commander as well. But my command, actually, my commander, what's, let's have a look at his range on his Overwatch. So he, he can see, but I don't know if he's within range there. So, so my lieutenant there has a range of 12. Is he within range of. Uh, he is just outside of range there to, to pick up him. So I think he's just going to have to. Oh, can he see anything over this side? Yeah, uh, I mean, you could you could just just switch him back to a, a combat token yeah, to spend later. I think that's probably the wisest it, move for him. You know, because he might be able to then once this is resolved. Yeah. Vehicles always break away. Yeah. So then they'll so be then separate. Might be, yeah. So then you might be able. There might be a mule target to to okay. hit. So then I do have these guys as well. You've got one as well. So back to you. Oh, you, uh, so you've got yeah, your guys. Got these guys. Oh, you've got I, a few. I think I'm going to go with uh, where I went before. So I, again, I can't see them because of the building. Yeah. That bunker's in the way, or that uh, that vehicle yeah. hangar. Um, so I think I'm going to go here. That's it's certainly the safest. I can't. Yeah. I can't deliberately target, um, you know, combats or anything like that. And it could scatter onto there, of course. That's the safest. Yeah. The safest target. I'm going to go. With, look at that. That's five of them, I think. Oh. If, it's definitely going to hit this time. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Nope, three but, inches oh, straight back. And this way, towards me. So, to there. Right, let's go into that second one. Oh, anywhere oh. I like. So yeah, definitely so it's going back where it was. Yeah, the and the other one, two. Two that way. So that's going to cover that same one as well. So yeah. we've got one, two, three, four. Four possible hits. Right. Yeah. So, look oh. at these. Indirect always hitting on fives. Oh, look at that. That's not bad, is it? Do I go with another one? <laughs> no. Two hits and a five, one miss. I could get nice rerolls over there, but I'm out of range. Yeah. So I think I probably do want to kill some. Yeah. Extra, so let's, that seems let's, like a wise move. That one. Yes, That's the way to go. do it. So four hits. That's it. And your armor is. Um, and this is on my heavy weapons. My armor is six plus. Okay. Now, of course, I, you know, I have hit you, so you're automatically pinned regardless. Yes. So six plus, one, two, two dead two, so two. far, and oh. it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? it? I mean, it, <laughs> what do I say? Well, I'll, I'll save one for there. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on! No, oh. so two dead, two so dead from the ones that dead. were hit. Okay, so we'll get rid of this one and this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, you, you didn't lose half or more, but uh, which would automatically give you a pinned. Yeah. But you're automatically well, pinned anyway. Pinned. I'm a pinning weapon, and you took and you took damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we're good. That's spent. Okay. Uh, right. So we've got the tanks here. Yep. And there. So they've got a range of 24. So that's quite nice. If they can see anything. So their vehicles are height 3. So they can okay. see over the, the height 2 things. Okay. I think what we'll do is that I think we're going to... Let's pop it into this unit here. Yep. 
So and they're within range. Yep, yeah, and these are these are height five because they're standing on a height three yeah. thing. So that's and you can ignore the height two that's in okay. between. So these are three are heights higher. So you can just Perfect. shoot straight over those guys. Okay, so they have uh, dice three. So there's two units or so six dice. Um, but you can't see the majority of mine. Yeah, the majority. So I am in cover. So it's minus one. So it's minus one, and the shoot is five. So now it's sixes. Yep. So let's uh, see how we do with that. Not great. So we've got a couple of hits there. Yeah. Four misses. We're definitely going to burn through a, a dice to try and uh, improve that statistic a little bit. And no, two no. misses again. So two hits. Uh, armor three. <laughs> armor three. Hey, I've seen my dice rolls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, six okay. and a seven there. Okay, now. Remember, I put uh, saves on them. Yes, so you did. I put yeah, my, my infection on them. So I've got saves of six. Come on, zombies! <laughs> no, oh. and I can't use rerolls on on saves. So okay. two dead. So I will kill. Let's oh. take the ones that are currently in that are currently visible. Yeah. Let's take those two. Excellent. Um, they're unflinching, obviously. So regardless of casualties, they they wouldn't take a pin. Yep. So that's me, that's everything gone on my side for Overwatch. Okay, well I've got these guys here. They are gonna shoot your uh, your peacekeepers. Okay. So there's range 18, so they can all hit someone at least. So that's fine. Uh, I'm height five, shooting over height four at height two. So I'm not three levels higher than that. So you will be in cover. Yep. Uh, so if I have a look at many dice I've got, uh, they've got two dice each, so that's gonna be 12. Okay. Two, four. 10, 12, uh, I'm hitting on, oh, not very good, 7s, 8s because of the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 1. I was going to say, I can see 1 in there. I've got Marksman, yeah. but that doesn't help. No. Oh, there's another one there, that 8. Uh, so, mm, do I spend that last one? Yeah, go on. So I'm, I'm now out. Why not? <laughs> so okay. I spent roll up to 2. Come on the 8. Oh. Unlucky. So, 2 hits. Okay, so I've got no AP or anything like that. So what's your armor is seven plus? Okay, They're tough cookies. Nope, nothing at okay. all. Well done. Right. So, uh, so oh, I think you've, that's you've just got your you've got yeah, your uh, model there. No, no target there. He will just switch to that yeah. just in case something might happen. So, so that's the end yeah. of the uh, the Overwatch phase. Yep. So, combat phase. Yes. And you've got initiative, you can choose what to, what to trigger first, whether okay. you want to trigger a combat or whether you want to shoot something. Um, I think we'll trigger a combat to see how this works, because we've not seen this yet. So, combat, yep. hand so, to hand. So you spend that, I automatically spend that. Yep. So we resolve this together. Now, all, all uh, combatants that are all engaged with each other all fight simultaneously. Okay. Um, so you go you roll your dice first. So you've got, yeah, so got... So then you've got one, two, three, four that are in base base contact. Yes. They will automatically fight. Uh, units that are within an inch of them will fight too. Okay. So all six of yours will get to fight. And so they've got you... dice one, so... Okay, so it'll be six that'll dice. Be six dice. So six dice, and there... Uh, let's have a look. The assault value. The assault is five plus. Okay. Okay, so five plus. Uh, so we've one, got... Two, three, four, uh, five. Uh, yeah, five, five, <laughs> wow. one. Wow, okay. Um, you know what, I've got a few of these. I'm going to spend one there just to try and... Get an extra one. That's yep. it. All six. So all six hit. Okay, my armor is six. Sorry, so we need sixes. And uh, only one hit so far. Okay. So we're definitely gonna use burn another point there. And we roll those two. And they missed as well. Just so one. just the one. So just the one of mine is, is dead. So we'll remember that. So then I've got okay. six back. Now each of mine, so they were good at combat, had <laughs> three dice. Yeah. Oh. AP1 Frenzy. This could get tasty. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hitting on five. Oof. Uh, frenzy, so I can re-roll any ones. Let's see, there's nothing there. There are there. three of those. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and then fives. Let's get rid of anything that's not. <laughs> Twos, threes, twos. There we go. So all of those have hit. Yeah. On AP one. So you said your armor was was it six? Six plus. Yeah. So fives then. 
Oh. Two, three, four, five dead. Yeah, that's it. So we'll, uh, I think we'll, we'll pick these guys up. Yeah, and I lost three, one, so I'll take one away. Four, so, five. so I've, I, uh, I've won, five to one. So yes. the difference is four. So you now have to make four nerve tests. Yes. Uh, your nerve was it's five. Five plus, so yeah. Five, yeah. So, so five nerve tests. For everyone, you fail, you lose another base. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure then. Yeah, there's definitely yep. at least a couple of so fails in there. Wiped out completely. Well done. Nice bit of combat there. Now I know how it works, I'll just put them all back, I think. <laughs> uh, now, because I've wiped you out, uh, I yep. can now make a consolidation move up to three inches. Okay. I think I'm going to come this way. Getting ready for next turn, eh? Yeah. Um, okay. Four inches. Right. Okay, so now I might go. So I will now... What do I want to trigger? Let's watch these mules. It's fail spectacularly over here. So <laughs> I'll, do, I'll roll mine first because I've only got, only got the two. Uh, my mules, probably only two dice. Uh, assault seven, they're not very good. <laughs> Uh, nope, nothing at all. Two sixes there. Yeah, and your uh, so you've got two in combat. Yeah. Um, and you've got uh, just the one that's within the one inch of them. So you're going to have three bases yeah, fighting. Yeah. Uh, and they're dice ones so or just three dice, and the uh, assault on a six plus. Okay. And one hit. So I'll burn another point there just to yep. try and see if I can get some extra hits. So two, two hits. Uh, and then armor six. And armor six. One hit. So one's dead. Uh, so I lost by one, so I need a nerve test of seven. Yep. Ah, it's which I passed, perfect. Which is fine. Uh, because we're vehicles, we uh, go there. Because I've lost the, I lost the combat, yep. I'm automatically pinned. Okay. Um, there we go. Right. Um, okay. Right, I'm going uh, I'm gonna activate these guys now. Uh, and they're going to just shoot in this one solitary little unit here just to try and get it off the board. Yeah, so, um, uh, let's have a look. Heavy weapons here then. So, heavy weapons, they're definitely within range. And they shoot on a 5 plus, and they are dice 2. So, uh, 8 dice there. Uh -huh. Two, three, six is because you're pinned. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 6 is because I'm pinned, as you say there. Uh, that is a terrible dice roll. I've, I've hit with two there. I'm definitely going to use my last point there just to try and help out. Uh, one more goes through there. So three saves to make? Yes. Oh, sorry, three damage you need to roll, yeah, actually. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Um, so I am, what am I? Just a ghoul, aren't I? Uh, I'm a five. I'm so, a five. So four is because you've got AP one, haven't you? Okay. Uh, yes. One. Just the one. Yep, that's all you needed. That's it, thankfully. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's 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 do this one here. Um, so all of your guys get to fight. Okay. Uh, that's not fine. And I'll have four fighting. So the two in contact and the two supporting. Um, I'll roll mine first. Uh, bursters, uh, teeth and claws. Just the one dice each. They're better at shooting, but we'll, we thought we'd see how this goes. Now I'm minus one. Okay. Uh, assault is normally six, so it's sevens. Okay. Two. two hits. Not bad. Um, I am AP2 though. Okay. So what's your armour? Uh, armour, these are my assaulting forces, so it's armour six. Six armor plus. Six, so down to fours. <laughs> oh, one <laughs> That's three. up to four, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so six dice back, I believe, or you said uh, eight dice? Uh, eight eight dice, because these guys dice, have got... Uh, uh, sorry. Okay. Um, is it all six, all six units all fight? All six, all six fight, yeah. So these are my assaulting forces, so they're uh, dice two because they've got their wrist blades, yep. so it's 12 dice on this. So six, nine, 12. And they are uh, five plus, and they have AP one as well. Yep. So five plus, that's not bad, is it? We've got the yeah, one. Not, not frenzied or anything like two, that, are you, I don't believe? No. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And so that's two, th whoop, three, Four, five, six, seven went through. And what's your armour? Armour of my bursters is six. And I've got AP ones or fives. Uh, get the, take the misses away there. So 
What's that? That's five. Five, five will through. I have save seven. Save. save seven on these these big guys. Not many things. Usually vehicles have saves. Yeah. Not usually in uh, heavy infantry, but these guys do. Uh, still lose four. <laughs> okay. So still lose four. So you've you've won. I mean, you 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 won you'd actually win yeah. anyway because unless I wipe you out, then I've lost. I, I, okay. I I've lost. So I'm automatically therefore pinned. But I'm not. I'm unflinching. Which is yes. Good. Um, but I've lost the combat. Uh, I didn't kill any. You've four. So I've got four nerve tests to make. Okay. Got sevens. Uh, a pass one. one, but three die. So there you go. That's that's a very unsuccessful assault Ooh. on a building. So yeah. Once you're in a building, it's quite tough. That's it. Yeah, definitely yeah. toughens them up. So. And then, no, you'll get it. One of yours. Right. Um, so I've got my um, my peacekeepers here, and my peacekeepers have a range of. They've got a range of 12. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to... Because I was waiting to maybe see this combat here. Some of them are going to be in range of those guys, but they're going to be in cover. Yep. Um, yeah, really, you can only really see two. Yeah. Definitely in cover. Yeah. And I think... Um, like line of sight in a wood is yeah. two inches. Beyond two inches, you can't see. Okay, so there's only these four at the front can see. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's do these let's do these um, vehicles first then. Okay, so that's clear. Minus two. Okay, uh, so. I'll roll my mules. Uh, they were, what did we say they were? <laughs> Assault seven. Uh, nothing at all. Okay, and I'm dice one again as well, and it is... Um, oh, where are we at? Eight plus, so then they're, they're not built for the fire, yeah. <laughs> for attacking. Uh, yeah, missed with those as well. So then they'll just separate because. Uh, yeah. Okay. Vehicles always separate. There you go. Right. And then back to yourself. No, I don't think at this point I've got. Well, I've got him and he's got out of range and I've got uh, that one there. So I haven't really got anything left. So I'll just lose those and it's really all yours, I think. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I've got these two units here. I've got my, my lieutenant. Who's kind of tucked away behind a building, and I'm not really sure he can see much there. I don't know, he's not in range for any of yours over that side. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll shoot these guys into the uh, into the mules now. Then now that okay. they've, they're separated, so the pathfinders, they're not the pathfinders, sorry, the peacekeepers, um, they're within range, and they are dice two. So there's two, four, six units, so twelve dice, four, six. 10, 12, and they are they are shooting on a five plus. They do have marksmen as well. And is there anything for? Do, do they get any cover for being behind building? So uh, these, behind the, so the they're vehicles? the same height as these. They're both height three. Yep. So yeah, the majority of mine are in cover for the majority of yours. So yep. yes, they'll be in cover. Okay, so instead of being five, it's a six. So sixes. Uh, so we've got ones and twos, fives. You say you're a marksman? I am, yeah. You can reroll that one. Reroll that one. Yes. Right, yep. So, uh, six go through. Yep. Uh, I am armor six. So, armor six. Pretty lightweight, these guys. Uh, so, one, two, two go through. destroyed. I've only got capacity keyword. So, two dead. <coughs> That wasn't too bad. So those two are automatically pinned. It wasn't too bad. And um, yeah, my leader model. I don't think he's going to do anything really. I think we'll. You can see. You can see you. Well, in that case, you might as well have a shot at it. Sorry, sir. Be rude not to in that case. Um, let's have a little look. So his stats. So he's dice two. He's got to roll two dice. He is five plus, and he has marksman as well. Yep. So. Two dice in the So they both hit. Uh, did they say five head didn't that? Yep. yep, five plus, so they both hit. And your armor, six. Yep, Just one hits. Hit. Yeah. Boom. This game is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think that's all done, I believe. It is. Okay, so end phase. So we'll do our. Uh, 
do our nerve test now. I've got this guy here. Yeah. He's next to, right next to him, so he's yeah. going to get his two dice. Okay. Sevens. Yeah, cleared yeah, it. Good with that one. Okay. Uh, um, your guys, uh, they're so definitely within range of... So two yeah, five plus. Yep, yep, one so of those. Yep, that takes the pit away. Uh, oh, that's him over there now. He's yep. definitely out of 12 inches. I don't even need to measure that one. So he only gets one dice on a seven. No, he stays so pinned. He stays pinned. Yep. And then everyone else is, is probably dead. Um, also clear away status markers. So that's gone. Um, and then, yeah. That's, that's it. Uh, there we're done. So yeah. scoring. These are inactive this turn, so they don't count for yep. anything, even though I've, I'm in range of them. But you get that one there, so you score three. Oh, that points. Uh, you a three. There we go. Excellent. So that's the end of turn two. Yep. Okay, so on the turn three, we've flipped over the markers there as well. So now all three are active again. So that should keep it interesting. Yeah. And uh, we allocate what we're going to do. Yeah, let's roll our news. Oh, yes. We're going to need to do those as well, don't we? Keep me right. Uh, definitely re rolling. Four again. Uh, I will re roll one. And I've got four this time. Even things out there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. So we'll uh, allocate our actions and we'll come back. Okay. So we've allocated our actions. Um, Mandatory ones down. So you yes. Had, had to be. Uh, and we've got the uh, the leader models as well. Advance there. Okay. So we roll for we roll initiative. For initiative. Yeah. So are we going to get sevens again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got a seven. <laughs> And I got a five, so, so it's mine. It's over to you. Okay. Um, so let's reveal what we're doing. Right. So my jet bikes are going to advance. My heavy weapons are going to advance. My tanks are going to advance. My uh, peacekeep, no, my, yeah, my peacekeepers are going to sprint. Yep. Uh, and these guys are just going on Overwatch, just to okay. sit in the building, try and score the point. I got sprinting leapers. I got advancing heavy machine guns. Now, I've also got advancing oh. artillery. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they're going to move. Uh, advancing uh, solitary strider, uh, sprinting zombies, and yeah. of course I've got my uh, commander. So I've got a big hole in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Things on either side. Okay. Uh, now, do I want to go first or second? I think I would like to see where you're <laughs> going. You can't probably wouldn't risk that. So I want to see where you're going. <laughs> so you can go first. Okay. In that case, I think we are going to... Uh, I'm going to advance my uh, my jet bikes here. Yep. So they've got quite a decent uh, range of uh, 12, 18. I don't think I'm going to need that much because I just want to get up to, uh, to here so they all have enough range to get in. So I'm just going to fly them up here. And get them to uh, to be in range for scoring that point, and see what happens with the battle up here. Oops, and then uh, there's the shoot token. Right, back to you. See what you do. Well, I think I'm going to go zombie charge. <laughs> um, now, give me a Do I use something like aura of terror? Hmm. Mm. That would automatically give you a pin marker, so you'd be at minus one. Uh, or do I give them a save? Each yes. one costs me one. Do I put you at minus one, or do I give me a save? I think I give me a save. So I'm going to put infection back on them. From him, I'm going to spend that command point, and then I'm going to charge it. Charge. Okay. Ooh. Um, they've got combat tokens then. Yeah. Interesting times. Yeah. And they've got infection. Okay. Okay. Right. Um. Right. I'm going to advance my tanks. And my tanks have a movement of eight. I'll pop these out where they can uh, where they can see some see some action. And then back 
to you. Well, let's make myself a juicy target. Let's go. Let's go there. Yeah. Token. There we go. Okay. Right, I'm going to advance these uh, these APCs. And they have an advance. I think that's eight as well, if I remember right. It is eight. And they're just going to come around. Uh, actually, are they? I maybe should have sprinted them into that uh, into those ones, but we are what we are. Okay, I'll sprint it around it to, to here. Right, back to yourself. I'm going to. Oh, I think I'm going to assault them before they get. Any further. <laughs> so I've got an assault of twelve. So I can get all the way to that one. That one can not quite get there, but they can all get to support at least. So if I get there, 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 like that. I'm not so sure I like that. <laughs> right. So both trigger that. Okay. And. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to advance these guys, my heavy weapons, but I'm going to move them back over a bit here, because I'm hoping that when this combat has some has some left to be split, they'll have something oh, to I shoot. I think only vehicles are split, otherwise everyone, ah, the they infantry just, stay okay. together. Um, so if there's in a vehicle case, involved, the vehicle unit will, will separate, but infantry will do and they'll right. even pile in okay. to gonna, the continuing combat. I'm going to move to here. I was hoping you were going to go the other way. I had thought about it. <laughs> yeah, that's why they came off Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. I'm going to come here then. So then uh, I'm going to show show what direct fire looked like. So <laughs> they've got move four six. So they're going here, here, and here, so they can all see. And I'll do one of those. Right, um, and then I've just got my leader model to move. Um, I think what we'll do with him. Oh, I don't like the idea. I was gonna, I was thinking of moving him over here to kind of for the aura, but I don't like. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like this mule hanging around at the back here. Um, right. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprint him over to here and uh, keep on overwatch there. Well, I'm going to come round mm. and make you the closest target. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm pinned. Right. Okay. And well, that's me. That's everything done for me. Uh, and I got these guys here. These guys are going to move yeah. here for. I forgot about that. Into here. My intention was to sprint these guys into here, but you got into combat first, yeah. which scuppered that plan. I think that's yeah. just your your leader. If you wanted to do anything with them, do I want to? Uh, <laughs> probably just wants to stay where where he is for now. No, they haven't got long enough range. Um, I'm gonna move him slightly. <laughs> it's just easing forward there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. Overwatch. So, yeah, Overwatch. And you've got the um, you've got um, initiative. Initiative. Uh, I yeah. don't actually. Uh, well, it's him, so he'll yeah. just defer for just in case. Yeah. Uh, Yours. I think. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll use Overwatch on this mule behind me. Yeah. I'm not liking being that close. So let me get my stats here. Right. 
So my lieutenant is basically going to uh, just take shots. And he hits on a 5+. plus. So he shoots on a 5+. plus. Okay. And you're pinned as well, so... Oh, that's only, for only when only you're shooting, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Me. So, uh, uh, you nothing. definitely spend one of those to re-roll them. Um, oh, so, one marksman? hit. I'm not sure. Um, oh, you can't re-roll no. a re-roll anyway, so... Oh, yeah. yeah, he is marksman, but yeah, like you see, you can't re-roll that. So, six. And then your armour is... Uh, six. Six as well. Eight. <sighs> oh, he needed that. He needed that. <laughs> so, he's... Uh, He's had his shredded wheat a day. He's done all right. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think there's any more uh, more Overwatch because they moved. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Oh, I've got, these guys are on Overwatch. Um, can they shoot anybody? I guess they can take a shot at, at this guy out here. Um, so that is my peacekeepers. And they have... Uh, the, what, these guys here? Oh, sorry. Thank assault, you. Uh... Assault. So my Sultan Forces, uh, dice one, the six of them. Um, uh, yeah, so... So operatives, yeah. Yeah, I want to sort in four. Six dice, is it? It's, sorry, yeah, so six dice, five pluses. And, yeah, they don't have any uh, any keywords or anything. So, six pluses. Does it say six pluses or five pluses? Five pluses. And One, two, three, four. So, okay. miss, miss... Um, I think I'm going to keep them for, for, for combat. So four four hits. Yep. Uh, Strider, um, uh, seven. Uh, and they don't have any AP or anything, so seven plus. I've got one yep. seven. One Ooh, dead. Just enough. Okay, so they've uh, earned their keep as well this turn. That'll do. So that's all our Overwatch done. So yep. we're on to shooting. Right. Well, I, let's go with... Let's go with these guys. So, okay. we can see. so the direct firing. Let's spend that. So I just place a template where I want. So I'm going to place it there over those three. Yep. All three hit the same location. So okay. basically, I'm stacking each yeah. extra one is plus one to hit. Okay. So. so normally fives under a blast. So yeah. it's uh, down to threes. Okay. So one, two, three potential hits there yeah. on threes. Yeah. Uh, two. Don't think at this stage I want to spend any <laughs> re rolls. So two hit. What's your armor? My armor is uh, six plus. Six plus. And it has a save. Two. As well. Oh, you got saves. Okay. Save so seven, yeah, seven, so seven plus save. Two saves. No, no, two dead, and you're pinned because of the pinning weapon. Well, and because okay. you've lost. Right. So, so that was a pretty good hit. It was. Okay. Right. It's time to repay the favour now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think what we're going to do is then we might as well uh, try this combat here. Okay. Because then if they if they die, these guys have got something to shoot at. So, yeah. right. So these are my these are my peacekeepers. Yeah. And so uh, all of yours are either engaged or supporting. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six bases there. So two, four, six dice because they have um, air dice one. They've got AP two, and they're Assault is five plus. Okay. So five plus. Uh, I've got one. Don't have uh, any vicious or no. frenzy or anything there. Just marksman, but that doesn't okay. count for this. So. Are you uh, buying rerolls? I think I will actually, yeah, because it's five pluses, isn't it? So we've missed with three. I'm going to buy a reroll. So two more. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, five go through. Okay, uh, normally armor six. Did you say it was our AP? AP two, did I say? Oh, AP. Uh, AP's give me AP two. And fours. So the energy gold list. Yeah. yeah. So okay. fours. fours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely buying a reroll there. We're definitely buying one. Two. Two go through. Two dead. Okay, so those two will die. So then I've got 15 back. Yep. One. Two, three, yeah, you can four, feel the power of plague five. in the uh, in the combat phase. Uh, so assault five. Uh, I'm frenzy, so I can reroll the ones. So that's definitely useful because there are five ones there. Yeah. Uh, I will also spend one of those uh, to, to 
bring all those two as well. Now let's get rid of everything that wasn't a five or more. Yeah. Those. AP1. So you're uh, normally arm, seven. Armor seven, down to six. Yeah, there's a couple of heads in there. Uh, one, two, three. 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 Oh, okay. <sighs> now is the time. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Four. Oh, four. Four dead. So four dead for me. Two dead for me. So you've got differences two. You've got two nerve tests to make. Okay, so four come away. Yeah. And then two nerve tests. So five plus. Yeah. Oops. Uh, pass yep. the, pass the nerve pass. test. Each other and stay yeah. there. So, okay. the launchers don't have a target. No, they don't, unfortunately. Right. Uh, you okay. lost the combat, so yeah. you are pinned. Pinned, yep, yeah, thank you very much. And then it's over to you. Hmm. Well, shall I. These guys that they can see. So, yeah. you've got one, two, three, four. These guys are more than two inches uh, into the woods, into so they the can't woods, see. Yeah. So, four that can see. Now I'll shoot the APC there. Uh, so I'll spend a token to do that. Yep. Uh, I'll get cover from them. I'll get cover from them. I can't see. So you're going to get... I'll give you cover. <laughs> uh, two, four, six, uh, eight. So I'll get sevens. One, two. Are they, are they marksmen? Yes, they are. <laughs> Three ones. <laughs> One more. Mm. Nice. What's your armor? My armor is um, six plus. Six is, and then you've got arm. I've got uh, a seven plus save. One save, seven. Okay. No. No. Destroyed. He's popped. Nicely done. Nicely done. Right. In that case, um, there's not much for me to shoot at now, then. So these guys can't shoot at anything because they're mm. all in combat. I'm going to have to do this combat now, then, I guess. Yep. So starting with the jet bikes. And they're all going to get to fight. Um, let's have a look because jet bikes don't sound like they'd be great in combat. Uh, so let's see how they go. So six units, they're eight, they're dice one, so yeah. six dice, and they're assault on a six plus. Yeah. And the no marksmen only other rifles. So so six plus. Um, three so, so far. three go through. I might as well use my last command dice. Uh, oh, two more hits. So your armor uh, is threes. Threes, so three plus. And they all hit, so five. Five. <laughs> now I am uh, infected, so I do have five saves. Six. Ooh, yes. One, Ooh. two, three, four, <laughs> only one dead. <laughs> Nicely done. That's why we infect. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you do it. There we go. Now, if now because I'd, I'd spent that extra one, if I'd have had um, if I'd have had another one at this point, you know, when they're they're attacking the assault, yeah. I could have done thirst for blood, which would give me re rolls on all of my oh, well. all of my hits. Yeah. It costs two, but it, it's a good one to have. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I've only got one left, <laughs> uh, so I can't do that. Uh, so I'll just do my normal attacks. So I've got uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, two dice each. Yep. Three, four. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Uh, assault 7. Ooh. So not the best. Um, I might as well use that last one to yeah, re-roll those. No. So three successes, uh, one, two, I think. Just the three. Yep. Yeah. What's um, your armor? My guys are armor 6 plus, and they do have a 6 plus save as well. Yeah, they can dodge out of the way. So just a 1. Oh, oh, he makes a save. Okay, so you um, you win. You win by one. So I've got one, yeah. one, one nerve test to take. Yeah. Which I failed, yeah. so I'll take it away. Uh, another one. Um, okay. And we're all stuck in. We're all stuck yeah. in combat. There's everyone's. Uh, yeah. The only one that needs to move is that one. It will just move around to yeah. be in base base contact. And they're all yeah. spent. And are you pinned from that combat as well? Uh, I'm unflinching. That's so right. I yeah, I remember pinned, that now. Pin marker. Okay. Um, so it's back to you. Yep, well, I've only got one left. That's yeah. him. He can't do anything. He can't see or shoot anyone. So that's gone. So it's yours. Yeah, and to be fair, these guys can't really see anything either, can they? I mean, they, they won't be able to see anybody in the forest there. 
Yeah. You can't see anyone on either side. They can't shoot at the combat. Yeah. So I think that's the uh, end of my turn. As well. Tanks there. Um, see these maybe twenty four. He probably yeah. just did just in range. Probably just in range. Be twenty two to there. I would be a guess. Yeah. Twenty two. <laughs> you can hear you. You've played a few games before, haven't you, Matt? Okay, so that's my tanks. Let's have a look at their stats. So yeah, twenty-four range, three dice uh, shooting. We've got marksmen as well. So three uh, dice. So you can't see unit. one of mine. You can only see one partially. See, the majority of yours can't see the majority of mine. So, so they're in cover. cover. Um, so they're shooting this five plus. So that goes up to six plus. Yep. So. And those two miss, those miss. I've got no dice left, so just the one. And your uh, armor. My arm is only five. Well, it's an eight, so. Uh, no save. That's it, so we've done one, mm. one point of damage yeah. there, or one one unit out. So it was, it was worth the shot. Um, yeah, and these guys can't do anything, so. Okay, so. Perfect. All right, so clearing uh, pins. Yep. So it's just the one pin over there. So they're so out piece. are they out of range or in range? What's yeah, his is he range twelve, is it? It's range sixteen, I think you got Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, so sixteen. So yeah, he will be in range. So five plus. Yes. Yep, so you so clear that. The pin marker. Um and that's it, so I'll clear clear that status yeah. as well. And then scoring uh, points. Then scoring. You'll score that. I'll score that one, you I'll score, score that, that one. So I get uh, three, you get three. Let's go. So you're up to six. That's I'm right. Up to nine. And this one here. So it's going to be contested. Yeah. Uh, my zombies have uh, unit strength uh, four. And my uh, jet bags have unit strength two. So I score that one. Yeah. So up to 12. So let's go. Uh, let's take a 10 in there somewhere. 10, 11, 12. There we go. Okay. Um, then they'll flip over. That's the end of uh, round round three. Yep. So, folks, that gives you a good flavour of uh, of how the game plays. You can see from my inexperience, didn't stop me enjoying the game and getting stuck straight in. So it's super easy to pick up the basics. There's bits that I kind of haven't focused on yet, like certainly the, the flavour of my army around the different um, abilities or what really give kind of uh, enforces their flavour. It's all new to me, so I kind of missed some of those bits. Matt's been throwing some of them in as well, so you get to see what they do. Um, and here, I think it just it just shows how straightforward it is, how how cinematic it is, and how things die pretty quickly as well. If you uh, if you get out there into combat, yeah. And then the add Matt. No, I just you know obviously we saw how the how the objectives work. Um, you saw me collapse in the middle there. <laughs> um, you know, tried to show how indirect blast works, yeah. direct blast. So you see see those those kind of mechanics. Um, um, and and yeah, as a, yeah, you didn't really use your command, your uh, strategic orders. You yeah. know, you've got some, some quite powerful yeah. firing ones there, but uh, I think I used well, especially that same. Yeah, there oh, was, was, just, was quite just good. shows how powerful that can um, be. Yeah, but you could also see, you know, as ones where I could have bought good rerolls, but because he was over here, not over here. Yeah, you saw it. You, you need that command radius to, yeah. to 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 really get your army army ticking. Definitely. Um, so you saw that if you're out of range, it's a it's a problem. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. yeah. So roughly, how many points were we seeing that we we, we did here? Was it about... uh, a quick mental tally at the start? It was probably eleven, twelve hundred yeah. each. Um, so on the playtest day we did recently, we started uh, on six by four tables. Uh, uh, started people with fifteen hundred points. Yeah. Um, and then the second game we played two thousand points. Yeah. Everyone said that felt, felt absolutely fine. Yeah. People said we could probably even go to two and a half thousand on a six by four with with no real problems, yeah. especially once you've got reserves, drop troops, all of that, because yeah. then everything's not starting on the table at the same time, and you've got everything suddenly. You know, you've got the, the battlefield's much more dynamic, especially with those dynamic objectives as well. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you can play probably games twice this size on the six by four quite easily. Yeah, and as you can see, as things die as well, the turns become faster because there's less things on the battlefield. So it's still a very very swift game as well. So don't forget to um, to head over to our Kickstarter page. The Kickstarter launches on February the 14th, Valentine's Day, so you won't forget that bit. Um, please come and check it out. We're going to have four factions at launch, and hopefully if you get behind it, we'll be able to unlock some more as well. So come and check it out. Thanks to Matt, not only for designing the game, but for showcasing it today with me as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you over on the Kickstarter.